what two factors ultimately determine our potential for wealth? Think about that for a moment. Just two things will ultimately determine our potential for wealth. It will dictate the amount of money that we earn in our lifetime. What do you think those two things are? And as I share this with you, I want you to really, you know, uh, really take it to heart. Because once I discovered this, the whole, you know, it completely demystified what it was going to take for me to finally hit my financial goals in life. It stopped me from chasing thing after thing after thing after thing and struggling every time and having multiple failures in my life. I realized when I learned this, I realized that why for 12 years I'd completely failed as an entrepreneur regardless of what I, what I tried. And in all likelihood, you're here, you're here because you want more out of your life, right? You want more than what you currently have. And that's a worthwhile goal, right? But you're also, you're not here because of a lack of, fail, uh, a lack of trying, right? You've probably tried things in the past. You probably did what society told you to do or family told you to do. You've put in a significant effort, so why haven't you got the results that you want to have? And part of that might come from the clarity that you're going to get in this next portion of this conversation, right? Because it will completely demystify what it takes for you to actually get to where it is that you want to go. So let's take... For an example, the janitor and the doctor, right? Two individuals, a janitor and a doctor. Why is it that the janitor earns so much less than the doctor? Does the janitor not work as hard? Does the janitor not put in as much time per day? Doesn't the janitor, you know, go show up and, and fulfill on their obligations? The reason the doctor makes more right, is ultimately because the skills that they deliver to the marketplace are worth more. That's it, right? And so your potential for success hinges upon your skills and the demand for those skills in the marketplace. Now, the question then becomes, if it's about skills and demand, well, is digital marketing in high demand and more importantly, rapidly growing. So let's just take a look at some of the statistics. Here's an article from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The median pay within the Bureau of Labor Statistics advertising category was approximately $127,500 per year, equating to about $61 per hour. The median pay, so the average pay that somebody earns as an advertiser, right, in the advertising category is over $127,000 per year. That's just the median. That's not the highest. That's not the lowest. But that's the most common. Okay. Having formal, ed formal education, this is really interesting. Having formal education may not be as much of a requirement as it was in the era of traditional marketing. So as we move into, into uh, digital marketing, the era of traditional marketing, the need for a uh, for traditional education is slowly diminishing. And this is happening all around us. Never before have we been in a marketplace where students are paying more than they've ever paid to attend college to get the crappiest jobs in the marketplace or to find out that they don't, there is no job for them. That is, the, that is because of a society that's following a fallacy that somehow this educational institution is, is supposed to provide you a living by going out there and getting, by getting some degree. And it's simply not true, Right? So never before have people been paid, paid so much for an education that was worth so freaking little. The gap has never been greater. And it's partially because we don't need traditional education in order to learn anymore. Let's move on. This is from a, a source called the Left Bank, which is a, a researching source. 69% of companies plan to hire more digital marketers. This is a little bit of an old research, I, I agree, but in marketers in 2018. So I want you to think about this. Even though that's a little while, a little ways behind us, think about this. Seven out of 10 companies who were interviewed plan to hire more digital marketers that year. Seven out of 10, 70% of businesses needed more digital marketers, they felt. That's the most in-demand expertise were digital, was digital advertising, okay? So the most in-demand expertise that all of these companies wanted was digital advertising. Four in 10 marketing jobs now call for digital marketing skills and the number of postings has nearly doubled in the last five years. A whole category doubled in the last five years. Check this out. From 2017 to 2018, the number of SEO jobs 
increased. SEO is just a type of digital advertising. It's a strategy. Increased by 43%, okay? In one year, okay? And the number of content marketing jobs rose by 33% in a year. That's a dramatic, and this is from Inc. Magazine, that's a dramatic increase for any one category. Go do the research yourself, right? CMOs, chief marketing officers, will be spending $119 billion on digital advertising by 2021. Consider that, right? Now, why is this growth happening? Forrester, which is Forrester Research, you can go look them up says it's because digital advertising will become increasingly important over the next five years. Over the next five years. Will become increasingly important over the next five years. Digital marketing is one of the career choices. Check this out. I love this. Digital marketing, is, and this comes from a DSM. It's a publication on New Zealand. Digital marketing is one of the, the career choices which often results in successful self-employment. So oftentimes people take this on as a job, but because of the skills that they learn, right, they end up successfully self-employed. Many digital marketers often expand into business development, managing directors, or business owners. In other words, people who, who master this skill eventually go on to management, director level positions, or business owners. Statista puts the overall global smartphone users close to 3 billion people by the end of 2020. 3 billion people will be online using a smart freaking phone by the end of 2020. That's close to 40% of the world population. People are not moving away to, from the internet. They're moving to it. The majority of the population still doesn't have it. Imagine how big this opportunity is going to be when 100% of the world's population has access to the internet. Consider that. It is growing, right? And here's an interesting fact. I just, for shits and giggles, decided to go look it up. If you search for digital marketing on media giant entrepreneur.com, you have 49,000 related articles. So on entrepreneur.com, which caters to entrepreneurs, they're talking about this all the time. Now, Simple question. Doesn't that sound like a growing trend to you? It sure does to me, right? There's a tidal wave of opportunity coming in your direction, right? And that tidal wave of opportunity is going to reward handsomely. So this, the next question becomes, is where do you learn the new and high demand skills?